That is a lip smacking looking dish. Um, speaking to spring, but with one foot still in winter slightly. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it. So many of my favorite ingredients on the plate tonight as we spring into summer. It's day one, it's spring. Can you believe it? It doesn't feel like it outside, um, but we are getting there. It's a little bit lighter in the morning. It's a little bit lighter in the evening. We can get a bit more done. Um, and over the next few weeks, um, the food that we put on a plate is going to change, freshen up a little bit, some produce coming into season. So looking forward to the bounty that is ahead. Um, I haven't been here live for a Jeff Cook for a while, so it's nice to be back in the kitchen. We had Women's Month last month and a whole lot of powerful women dominating the screen, which was amazing. And hopefully you caught up the recipe book as well that's out and Coach Tony put a lot of effort into that and backed by so many of you and there's some beautiful recipes in there. Now it's spring and uh, you guys have to put up with me again tonight. So I'm um, looking forward to it. Swipe in, let me know who's all here and how you guys are doing. We're also in a bit of a limbo week. Um, challenges finished off last week. We are gearing up for our next set of challenges next week. Loads of filming going on as well. And we've just got back from the West, well, West Coast, um, from Langebaum. Um, we were filming for our Spring into Summer Challenge, um, which is going to be beautiful with uh, John A. Kate and myself. Um, and we were well underway. Some things, meals like this are going to be on our menu, which is great. And um, so if you haven't signed up for a challenge, go get it done. But until Saturday to jump on and we kick off on Monday's room for that. Um, and hopefully we've got a whole new whack of one-on-one -on -one starters um, that are gearing up either for today or next week. Um, let me know if it's your first time tuning in with us um, or if you've been around for a while, like Auntie Pat's back here um, and who else might be in and about. Um, and uh, we're gonna cook together in the next five or six minutes. So I'll run through the ingredients in the next little while. You can see them scrolling along the bottom there as well. Um, whatever protein you want to tonight, get that out. You can keep it vegan, you can do vegetarian, and um, awesome fish, chicken, meat, whatever you like, um, and whatever sort of portion you want. Our main focus here is what's going to go with that. But we always want some protein in the meal. So we need that. Um, I've got a beautiful little bit of venison steak so that's my protein of choice for tonight. And it's going to play nicely with everything else in there, I think. And um, for our polenta, um, so serving sort of four people, and um, we've got about three quarter cups of polenta. Now the trick to polenta is always the liquid is four times the volume of the dry stuff. Um, and that liquid, you can actually make up in all sorts of different ways. So. Tonight, I've given half-half split of some milk and water to get a little bit of creaminess in there, a little bit of extra protein, a bit more bang for buck, and um, it just levels it up a little bit. If you want to keep it low, lower calorie, you just do it with water. Totally cool, kind of a traditional way. Um, and you can go sort of 24 volt on it um, and add some extras in there. So sometimes when we're feeling a little zhuzhy um, and it's uh, sort of day and a half, um, you might do sort of uh, three quarters milk and a quarter of cream and it's really cream. So it's a little higher fat, um, but it's a little treat and um, you can get something really nice in there. So polenta is great. Um, the yellow corn cousin of maize meal, so just slightly different flavor, slightly different texture. Um, so if you've had it before, it's really good to go. And we have our polenta, one of Greer's favorites. So the polenta gets uh, liquid four times the volume of the dry stuff. And then we're going to season a little bit with some white pepper and some onion powder. And that's just going to go away. So the liquid I've got on the stove at the moment, just heating up, just to save a little bit of time. So if you want to do that, you can do that. And otherwise, we'll um, run through it when we get there. And um, then onto the polenta, the beautiful thing about it is it carries so many nice things. So you can literally top it with anything. Um, so here we are obviously into spring and we're doing a little bit of spring greens and some mushrooms. So whatever spring greens you could find. And um, I got some lovely leeks that we're going to chop up in a bit. Got some spring onions, like obviously the name would suggest. Um, spring is when they plant a bit of 
for most of these things we find all the time of the year. Um, and some beautiful little asparagus which comes into season and kind of now it starts popping through if you ever grow in your own so now it starts coming through and you got it so some lovely asparagus and um, i've got a nice little range of some kind of exotic mushrooms just for some different flavors and textures and but you can use any kind of mushroom that you want to um some brown some button some whatever it doesn't matter so um, those are all the veg that are going to top our polenta and then you're going to have it with whatever protein and a little gremolata which essentially is a herb dressing herb sauce um, that's flat leaf parsley so a nice little handful of that um, with the zest of lemon a little bit of lemon juice a little bit of olive oil and a garlic and that's it so simple kind of a, a cousin to chimichurri and um, you might get more spice in that and it's vinegar based and um, it's still the parsley and you can play around with it you've got some other greens you want to maybe put some basil in there or some um whatever uh, coriander it's cool so whatever greens will, will kind of work traditional green and is just the um, parsley so loads of nice color you can see it in front of me here it looks great kind of jumps out the screen and that's what springs about looking more pretty um have a good evening how are you doing kath saying good evening to all it's a rex night tonight for me so on the menu this weekend glad you're just tuning in anyway kath you popped in to say hi and um, olga how are you uh kath the steak does look delicious um i love uh, i love going into a shop and being able to find some venison one of my favorites so beautiful lean it's nice and dark loads of flavors bless but um, and uh, very, very lean, so it's a great, um, nice sort of flavorful um, version. But you can do anything. Some chicken will work, some fish will work, uh, some tofu will work, anything like that. Um, Leslie, how are you doing? Taryn, good evening all. Looking forward to this. You haven't done a cook in a while, so thanks for joining in. Um, Kath, I've missed you too, and Granny, of course. And then Michelle, hello, hello. Beverly, how are you? Hopefully a few of you have uh, jumped onto the challenge. A couple of you are our one on oneers as well. Um, and uh, maybe just in the in-between week here. Yeah. Um, Olga's uh, live cook along in a while, making mine with beans. Beautiful. There we go. Nice way also to top it. Some lovely beans on top of it uh, really well. And um, so just heat them through. They'll carry all of the flavor from the gremolata quite nicely and they'll play in the spring. Uh, spring greens you could also do some peas and they'll double as a spring veg and your protein so a nice uh, higher protein choice of veg uh, so that would work as well not a whole lot of prep to do you can slice and dice a little bit as you can see i haven't done much at all i'm going to jump into it as we're going all i've got on the go is the uh, liquid that's on the stove and just heating up so the plenty we're going to add to the warm liquid um, so it's a three quarter cup polenta, a cup and a half of milk, and a cup and a half of water. Right, so you can play around with that ratio a little bit. You don't need the milk if you don't want it. And um, just there for some extra. We're going to season it and get the polenta in. We'll start with that. And while it's cooking, um, we'll chop up the remoulade stuff just so that they can kind of hang around and get each other's flavors and uh, develop into a nice little relationship in a bowl. Um, and then we're going to start cooking the veg. Uh, Olga, you've got some peas kicking around. Typically, they're somewhere in the back of the freezer. You'll always find them um, <laughs> hanging around somewhere. So they'll make a, a nice option as well. And you can then maybe get a little bit of mint into your remoulade if you've got some peas and mint to play quite nicely. Lorna, how are you? Thanks for popping in. All right, so it's 6.30 on the, on the head, on the nail. Um, so we're going to jump straight in, getting started with polenta. Um, my head chef is hanging in the wings here. She's going to come say hello. She's also a guys. Um, hello, guys. Beautiful in green, spring green. Um, so not just on the plate, but uh, did you do that on the plate? No. Well, well played, well played, anyway. Um, that is cool. <laughs> it, is, it is cold. Um, but it is looking dashing in your cream. Um, you love a little bit of polenta. I love polenta. It's one it's of my our favorite favorites. Side. Uh, it goes nicely. I mean, this this isn't a wintry dish, but doing a stew or a 
last slow cook of something and then enter some alternative to some rice or um, whatever, pasta, and it's just a nice alternative. Gluten free, um, good sort of option, beautiful. So we love it. We're going to get started. My three favorite things lentil, mushrooms, and meat. There we go. Done. <laughs> Made, made for Greer. Um, you'll learn as we go. Yeah. So, what we've got, um, just on the back there, you'll see there is a pot. Um, we're going to get a little bit of salt into it. Um, and then we're going to season it with a little bit of white pepper. Uh, if you don't have white pepper, just use black pepper. It's cool. Um, and a little bit of onion powder. If you don't have onion powder, leave it out. It doesn't matter. Just try a little bit of flavor into there, which would be nice. So just a pinch of each, about half a teaspoon. No, just uh, not too much, because we don't want it too hot. Right. I can see how much went in, so you have to get that on, on playback and see how much actually went in, it was a, a pinch. Okay, we're gonna have a very white peppery um, polenta. But that's okay, because uh, venison needs some pepper in it. <laughs> uh, and then maybe I'll do a pinch of salt. Yeah. Okay, so our liquid is four times the volume of our polenta, however much you want to make, just times by four, that's the liquid, compared to the dry stuff. A uh, pinch of salt, a pinch of white pepper, and a pinch of onion powder. That's another nice flavor that's going to get in there. Um, Bring the heat up a little bit. You want it warm when you add the planter. You're just going to whisk it in, whisk it in. And it doesn't tend to get as lumpy as a cooking maize meal. You can go quite wrong and get quite lumpy. It's a bit more tolerant. Um, so you've got a bit more time to kind of do it. But um, whisk this in as we go. We're going to then stick the lid on, let it just chuff away for about 10 minutes. Give it another stir, lid on 10 minutes, and we'll be done. So super simple. This isn't the quick cooking stuff, it's just normal. Olga says it's uh, nice to see you guys. Hello, Olga. Yeah. Right, we're not quite hot enough yet. When it's, uh, when it's bubbling, um, we're going to get the plinks in. So if yours is bubbling, you can pop it in. Um, and while it does that, we'll get onto our gremolata. All right. So, gremolata is a parsley dressing slash sauce. Um, so, do you want to, what we're going to do, we've got a lemon and we're going to use the zest and the juice of that. So, I didn't get a zest, I don't you know, I'm zesting that from that. And then the parsley, we're just going to chop them up. Um, in the recipe we sent out, said you can use a food processor, so if you want to, you can. Um, it's just a bit noisy, so I don't really like it. So, I'm just going to chop it up a bit by hand. Um, you just don't want to, like, puree it. So, if you're doing it in the... Um, in the food processor or your nutri bullet or your blender or something, just make sure that you're kind of pulsing it and to chop it up without making a, a smoothie. Out. Parsley, garlic, lemon. It's essentially what goes into your good part. So it's nice, it's kind of earthy, herbaceous, lovely, fresh. Acid, it's all going on there. So it's just going to liven up the plate. Beautiful. Okay, and it's going to be chunky. Great. So just before the milk uh, boils over, that's when you chuck in the plate. So, yeah. So, uh, Grub's going to pour that in there and just whisk it as you go. Doesn't need too much love and attention. You just want it to smooth out and you're ready. Cool. Then we're also going to get a, a garlic clove into the green latte. Okay, so a bunch of parsley, one to two garlic cloves depending on your, your love for garlic um, or your social requirements for tomorrow and uh, you're working at home all day. Cool. We put two cloves of garlic in. Uh, we love our garlic. Won't be afraid of it. Okay, so just want to get the, the Yeah, you can turn it on. 
This one says come with seconded and seconded back on. Okay, so it's just bubbling. It's gonna simmer, heat right down, lid on, and we're gonna leave it for 10 minutes. And then we're gonna take the lid off, give it a good stir again, and that's pretty much that. Right. So I'm gonna mince that garlic for us. Okay. If you've got a little pressure, you can send it through your pressure, you save it a bit of time. Normally I do all this stuff in advance, but I just felt like hanging around. One of those days. Um, so you're just gonna get that nice and fine, chop it up nicely. This lemon, the whole, the whole thing. You want a lot of lemon in there. That lemon, the color is going to be vibrant and amazing. Um, that's where all the flavor is. So you want lemon flavor, but you don't necessarily want something that's too acidic, tart, and you use zest. Um, so that's what you're going to get out of that. Okay. So we want a full one, but we actually do also want some a bit of tang. So we're going to do the juice as well. So we're going to just about a teaspoon or two, just to kind of bring it together. Look at that. Looks, uh, looks good. Okay. So zest of a lemon, chopped bunch of parsley, and a clove of garlic. It's going to go in there. Okay. Gonna give it a little drizzle of um, olive oil and about two teaspoons of, um, of lemon juice. Okay, and squeeze the lemon or must turn into the No, just squeeze. So it's gonna be about a tablespoon of olive oil. Um, and I'm gonna give it a pinch of salt to bring the flavors out. Okay. A good squeeze of some lemon juice. Oops. Oops. Right, just oh, we'll, we'll put up with the tips. This is a very pretty one. Yes. Cool. That's right. Oh, okay. So that's it. Green, lovely green. The garlic's in there. You can see the yellow popping out of the um, lemon zest. And that's lovely. It's ready to go. It just sits around for a little bit and the flavors are going to come together. Um, you just can use a little sprinkle of that to help your plates pop. And um, Stick it in the fridge. It'll last about four days. Um, and then you're golden. You can top it on some um, eggs for brekkie. And um, let's taste it. Hello, Siri. Siri. It's been a while. Welcome back. Oh. That's yummy. Lemony, salty. Herbie tastes amazing. Right. What are we going to do now? Cook our protein. All right. So we're going to cook it, let it rest, and then just finish up with the rest of the veg, and we're going to be ready to go. Um, it's every Wednesday for the last year and a half has been cooking some. Um, all right. Let me know what proteins you guys are doing, what you ended up going for no it's fine you just leave it. Uh, michelle's using some baby marrows tender stem broccoli mushrooms that's what's great here is just really any um any veg you can find will kind of work um michelle no fresh thyme asparagus leaks in mom today uh there's two messages you just make do with whatever you can find Right, so we are going to both get started. Right, let's just get them into it. Um, so that's our lovely little bit of venison. What I'm going to do, a bit of salt. And it's so lean, so really the only fat that's going on in this meal is the little bit that we've added to the gremolata. Um, if you want to, you can add a little bit to your polenta if you've got a bit of room for it. Um, and then whatever we're going to cook with. Yeah, so it's a nice low fat sort of dish. 
Right, so these are at room temperature. Remember, any protein you're cooking, always take it out the fridge a good hour beforehand at least, so it gets to room temperature. It's going to cook it a little more evenly. Um, and then all we're going to do is um, get the pan nice and hot. You can see it there. And we're just going to okay. take some. There we go. So medium rare, about five minutes aside. Um, and while that's going, we can prep our veg. So it's ready, one pan, um, just make our lives easier. We're all just gonna put it all in. Um, glass of wine looks so good. Did you catch Priya? Oh, there in the background. She was trying to hide it, but she got her in the shop. I wasn't um, trying to hide it. No. It's very unlike Rio to try and hide a glass of wine anyway. Uh, Taryn's using some steak. Beautiful. Uh, are your booth sales still closed in bots, Michelle? That is horrible. Very horrible. So, all that's going to do, cook for five minutes aside. Um, and while that does, I'm just going to chop the veg. So you can chop it any way you want. I want it to be quite chunky on the plate. Um, just because it's going to look cool. Um, if you can slice and dice, you can do what you want. Um, mushrooms are sort of different sizes. I'm just going to cut them to being similar in size so that they cook the same pace. Um, so all sort of chunky and then the greens i'm going to leave them nice and long just so you can drizzle them around the plates twirl them a little bit so if you've got some baby marrows you cut them long instead of just doing some rounds and just can do it. right so got my shrews when the steak is out and resting they're gonna go into the pan got some beautiful Spring onions that's going to get rid of most of the greens with some compost. Um, and those are going to be nice. I'm just going to cut them lengthways so when they cook and wilt, we can get some nice, nice action in the pan. Nice. They're called spring onions, but Pretty much get them in time of the day. Just shoots. Okay, so they're going to be nice and long. And they'll cook super quickly. I think that's a beautiful thing about sort of young veg or spring veg, the first sort of things, um, they typically are. So you can look together a dish like this quite quickly. Um, my asparagus, this is quite a small asparagus, but quite thick ones, you can maybe halve them like I did. I'm just gonna take the, the bums off, the bottoms of them, and leave them nice and long. Okay, so you can see nice long asparagus, chunky mushrooms, and nice long uh, spring onions. And my leeks, it's going to be a sort of uh, bite size. Oh. So you can hang on a minute. Okay. So when these all go into the plates, we're going to see a few different things. So that's ready, um, and that'll go in. As soon as it's open, and we're going to give it another minute. And then give it a flip, and the timing's so good that is once that's done, you can also give the tomato flip it. Cool. That be a little color. To get that camera to focus. Beautiful. Look at 
Lance is just getting a little stir. Vigorous stir. And then ask him. I'll stick a little bit to the bottom. Uh, and Misha, hello, how are you doing? You're going to catch us. Olga saying, oh no. What's oh no? Hopefully, oh no, that the bottle's not closed. Yeah, that's not <laughs> I think we all uh, we all feel your pain. Okay, uh, drizzle of olive oil into the polenta. Um, and the lid's back on another ten minutes, um, and then Michelle Rogers and no, it's a while. It's looking lovely, it's looking nice and uh, hard on the outside there. Um, and I think you're pinkish in the middle. Just cook it to your liking. Um, and then once that's done, the mushrooms are going to go in. Uh, we're going to get the veg on. It's going to literally take about seven or eight minutes. And we will be done. Ready to play. Super easy, loads of flavor. Great. Uh, cool, how's everybody going? Um, the beautiful thing about this as well, um, all these veg can be used in different ways. So they things that we've normally got in the fridge, and they things that normally last as well. So your mushrooms, your leeks, your spring onions, your asparagus, and you can get a whole whack of them. They come into season now, so a bit more economical. Get a batch of them and can do a few different things. Um, actually, the asparagus and leeks are going to go into a recipe um, that I'm going to have a crack at tomorrow morning for breakfast. From scrambled eggs, leeks, asparagus, and dill, which is going on to our spring into summer challenge. Um, so, another reason to come jump into the challenge. You're going to get different recipes like this. No one else is going to get them. I'm going to save them for our challenges. Um, uh, going to carry through some of the spring uh, Annalise is making your chorizo soup. Ziggy so, for the uh, colder nuts and beautiful flavor, nice spice, smokiness. Um, cool. So, I think we are yeah, And it's still going to be slightly undercooked as it rests, cooks to a little bit more, and we like a little bit on the pinker side. Just cook it for creating over. All good? We haven't even got to the veg. Uh, I missed what to do to add to the veg, salt, and pepper. Then literally nothing to it. Um, so it's going to go in the pan. We will season it when it's in the pan. Um, and that's where that loves so the same pan that we've got going on there, you want to give a little splash of some oil. First into that pan will, will be the mushrooms. And the thyme, if you had some fresh thyme, thyme and mushrooms goes really well together. That's why it's on the Grab some recipe. Yeah. No, I had to actually get some. Okay. There's a lovely, so if you caught us on uh, Instagram or Facebook over the last few days, Jono, Kate, and I um, were up at the Boat House in Langer Barn, which is also the prize for our Spring to Summer Challenge. We were filming there. Um, I even got to train Kate, which is amazing. Got to get a little bit of payback. And there was a little herb garden that Harry was helping me forage for a few of the things that we put together. Um, beautiful little space. Go check out the photos. Um, yeah, so and lovely place. So seven ensuite rooms and the prize there, two nights for you and a whole bunch of mates um, on our challenge. So 
and really, really worth it, which is great. So those mushrooms are in. Flat pan, not as hot as it was for the veg, otherwise they'll um, burn a little bit. Um, so I'll go nothing with them. It's just the thyme and the mushrooms. Um, if you want to add another herb, do that. Um, if you didn't get mushrooms or something else, just start with whatever is going to be essentially the longest to cook. Um, so uh, everything else is going to kind of cook together, but the mushies we just want to cook down a little bit before we add our greens because we still want a bit of a bite in there. Um, not too fun with the bite in there. We're going to get some nice flavour, we'll get a little bit of salt onto them. Pinch of salt. See how this pinch goes. There we go. Got it. We were we were doing some shooting for uh, uh, photography shooting for um, instructors, and Tony and I were trying to get some nice food ones last week. And a beautifully dished plate. Uh, we were trying to get some salt in action, um, but we couldn't get it um, in the shutter speed and everything right. So. We kept Drizzling it, trying to get this pinch of salt as it was kind of boiling. We ended up with a little bowl that uh, thankfully no one ended up eating. Had a pile of salt on top of it like that, just so we could get that shot. But we got it. And um, the team behind the scenes put together some amazing stuff. Hopefully you've even seen the video. Um, that's Bjorn and Kate and everyone put together, which is great. I think my favorite there is uh, Ed Jack in the Step Jacks. And then it'll all dance off at the end. Um, Time the studio. Annalise can't wait for the spring challenge to start. More for me, it's going to be loads of fun. Annalise, hopefully, you've got a few mates together for it as well. And we kick off on Monday, so you've got till Saturday to sign up, round up a few peeps, and then get a clap. Right, so mushies are there. Just a second. Um, if you add a little bit of sherry to the mushrooms. If you want to add, they like flavor, mushrooms and sherry. For me, it's just a uh, lovely one. So, we're going to have a Gria tot. See how it compares to her, <coughs> her pinch. Oh, there we go. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Give it a shake. Give it a shake. Quite sweet, so you don't want too much, too much flavor. Uh, Coach Kim, the kitchen smelling amazing, beautiful. At least you have got it. Okay. Those mushies are great. I'm gonna get the leeks in first, so they just cook a little bit longer. And we're gonna make a nice little mushy mismatch of the uh, different types of veg. A little go in there, but you still want to crunch, which is great. And it's all handled kind of having a bit of weight. Right. Our polenta should be gonna get a little stir and taste. Just check on your polenta. Um, I gave you a low-carb alternative as well, so if you wanted to keep it low carb, you could do some poly mash. Um, you could just put a whole bunch of veg and whatever your protein is. Flavors you're going to get. We've got to double three things on the plate, and that's a nice balanced meal. Tasty. This is the uh, no, it's good. It's good. It's good. So, if you want to, and um, the beautiful thing, not, uh, polenta, once it's done, and um, is cooked. Cool. And um, so, it can come off the heat if you want to. A little bit of parmesan in there it really just takes it to the next level. So, 
Nice, a little bit extra protein in there as well, a little bit of fat, loads of flavor. So you actually just need a little bit, and um, literally like a thumb size, it's gonna flavor that nice, with a little bit of creaminess um, to it. If you want it, otherwise leave it to taste it, just check your seasoning, um, off the heat, leave the lid on right up until we serve, we're gonna give it a stir. Cool. Then um, we're going to pop in our remaining veg. Okay, so spring onions and asparagus. And then with that, okay, a little more salt. That's good. Looks good. You're going to be close to serving in a minute. Hopefully you guys are all there as well. Super simple. Whatever veg you're doing, just make sure it's all in the pot now. And you want to cook it through. Get a little bit of a bite on it so it's a little kind of al dente. Check on your polenta or your collie mash if you did that instead. And um, make sure that that's ready. Your meat, if you're doing some steaks, they'll be resting. And um, hopefully nicely cooked through. Or cook some chicken, fish, or whatever. And um, that's just slightly warm. Um, and you're going to get ready to serve. And then top it with your beautiful cremel So, So, Okay, how are you guys doing? You're with us. Plates in here. And we're ready to stay in the mats. All right, in front. Oh, how are you feeling? Let's go. Very good. Still want a bit of a crunch in. Let's give it a few minutes. We're going to do a little bit dry. Because everything's so nice and lean on this dish, if you need to kind of just keep it uh, a little bit oiled, you've got that. Um, cooking oil, which is fine, um, but everything's so lean, that's great. I'm just saving to add a little bit extra. Yeah, we are two minutes away. Okay. Lovely. Here's going to give us the go ahead in a second. Lights out. We need to go. Coach here. Looking good. Hope the yours looks good. Tastes good. Kim is with us next Wednesday doing a lovely little dish. I'm looking forward to it. We haven't released it yet. You guys have to wait. Can't. Alright. Let's do it. Okay, yeah, so we're going to start with the polenta. We have another quick whisk, and that's going to be the base. So, um, lovely. Smells great. Delicious. And that's going to go on first. Try to be like tiny, give a bit of a shape on that. Why not? Why not? Move that off of Okay, that off of the way. See it? See? Okay. And we're going to get our steak and slice them. Okay. A nice, lucky pink. Cooked to perfection. Hold on. Okay, so that's gonna go on top of our 
then turn. Beautiful. And if it's fish or it's tofu or whatever it is, I'm gonna taste it. You know when someone's hanging around. I was they're looking after. at the comments. <laughs> um, Kim says yes, it's a surprise or waiting. Look at these beautiful spring veg. Lovely, different colors and textures and just make sure you get a little bit of everything. Right, if you want different colors um, on the plate. So we want the leeks in there, which are nice charred. Lovely little sort of flavor, those mushies. Really beautiful. And um, spring onions in there. A little bit of everything. Looks good. Smells nice. Okay. Okay. And then just a little sprinkling of water. Okay. There's loads of flavor in there. So just taste that before you season your plate again. So um, because there's acid, there's salt, um, there's a lot of flavor in there. Um, make sure you've got that on. It's going to go so nicely with that game. Just need a little bit of it. Get everything in there. Beautiful. Look at that. A little stack of goodness. Everything on there. And um, beautiful bed of polenta. And um, we've got some venison steak, any protein that you like. Your spring greens and shrimps. And, and that top remoulade. So, um, smells great. I think it's going to taste pretty good. It looks delicious. Be quite angry, so we're gonna get stuck into that. Let us know what yours looks like, what it tastes like, and how it went down. Um, and uh, stick it up, um, stick it up, post that, post uh, into uh, Jeff Nourish, Jeff together, tag us, let us know what it's uh, like if you're watching this. Catch up as well. It's always beautiful to see all those creations that you guys put together. Um, Olga says it's absolutely delicious. Uh, Lynn says it looks delicious. Um, Coach Kim, the proof is going to be in the pudding, so we're going to have a little taste um, and uh, see what it's like. But uh, it's going to be amazing. Thanks it's for joining us. Beautiful plate of food. It's quite beautiful. All the colours. Um, the camera doesn't do it quite the justice. Mm -hmm. You can take a beautiful photo and put that for you guys. Michelle says it looks divine, and Lee says it looks great. Um, fantastic. Guys, thank you. Well done, love. Thanks. Super dish. We're going to dig in. I'm sure the hordes, the two little um, whippersnappers, are going to come and eat off our plate. Mine's already well. made. Just see. Yeah. Oh. Too much boiling. How's that? Um, so we're going to have a lovely little dinner. Um, and we will do it all again next week. Remember, um, these kinds of things, these recipes, um, doing a little bit of extra, go jump into a challenge if you're not on one yet. Share the love. And it'd be great to see you guys with us. Um, guys, next week we keep going. I'm in the kitchen on Monday doing some bagels. So come join me for meal prep Monday. Kim's um, in the kitchen on Wednesday. Let's see what it's going to be. Um, and we just keep going. So guys, have a beautiful evening. Enjoy the rest of your week. Have a happy spring. See you next time. Bye, guys.